and welcome to Issues and Insights, the show that keeps you up to date on all that's happening in our community. Happy New Year from all of us at HCEC TV. I'm your host, Kendra Scott, and we're thrilled you could join us today. So it's very cold outside and many of us are already thinking and planning for spring and warmer days. I know I am. The team at the City of Elizabethtown Parks and Recreation Department is also definitely in that mode and planning for a busy season here in their off season. So we're looking forward to another successful year and here to share with us a little bit about all the great things going on at the Parks and Recreation Department is our director, Mr. Seth Breitner, and the Sports Park Manager, Jason Daly. Welcome guys. Thank you. Thank you Happy for New us. Year. Happy New Year. So it was a great successful season in 2018 and so we're ready for 2019. So I know everyone thinks, oh, this must be your downtime, but really this is probably busy for you all as well because you're planning and gearing up. So tell us what's going on at Parks and Rec. Yeah, definitely. It's funny because when the calendar turns to January, it's like you get in full mood mm -hmm. and you, uh, full mode, you just start hit the ground running. You, you have to get ready for the season that's coming up and part of that is hiring seasonal staff and putting all those positions into place. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got a lot of things on the calendar this year, so it's going to be a big year. Um, but this is our planning time. This is our time to get ready because you can't just wait till the weather breaks. Like right. you said, you've <laughs> got to be ready to go now. You really do. So how many folks are you looking for this year? <clears throat> we hire a lot of seasonal staff. Mm -hmm. um, it, it's surprising because of all the things that we do, we have a relatively small full-time crew. Mm -hmm. It's about 25 to 28 people. Wow. And then we usually hire between the sports park and Parks and Rec mm -hmm. upwards of 200 seasonal staff. Wow. Yes, a lot of people. That is a lot of people. You're right, you do have to start now. <laughs> <laughs> so what types of folks are you looking for and what skills are you looking for? We have anything from maintenance positions mm -hmm. to concession positions mm -hmm. to office type positions. Okay. Um, there's anything in between. and. We hire anybody from the high school age all the way up. If somebody's retired and mm -hmm. looking for um, some additional work and things like that, um, those people, um, you know, everybody in between is what we're looking for. Oh, so that's good. So they don't necessarily have to have experience or have a background in parks and rec or restaurant management or whatever. Correct. Everyone can really be trained. So, so you're doing some job fairs and some things like that. Tell we us about are. That. Jason will tell a little bit about the sports park job fair coming up. Very cool. Yeah, we're going to have a job fair on Monday, January the 21st, uh, out at the sports park, um, and, and we're at 1401 West Park Road. And I know even though we're in town and we're kind of hard to find if you've never been out that way before. So um, we're going to hold our job fair on the 21st um, for our seasonal staff. And uh, like Seth mentioned, we're going to be looking for uh, grounds maintenance, building maintenance, uh, event and tournament operations, and concessions operations. Um, and just because those things, you may not know exactly what those are or you may or may not have experience in those areas, that that, uh, that doesn't necessarily affect, um, you know, your uh, your qualifications for those positions because we do train. Um, if you happen to have some background in those things, that's just a, a plus for us. So um, we're looking for people who uh, that any of those areas may sound interesting to them. And if you're not sure, then um, come out and talk to us anyway, and we'll tell you more about it. And then if it's not for you, that's fine. But if it's interesting, we'll find something that fits for you. Mm -hmm. I think it sounds like it'd be a lot of fun. Um, I think there'd be a lot of perks to, to working in Parks and Rec because, hello, recreation is in the name. Right. So, right. Um, so talk about some of those benefits and enjoyable aspects of being a part of, of your team. I'll go. You can both say it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take turns. Because we got a lot. <laughs> I know, tell us. <laughs> Uh, well, one of the unique things about working um, at the sports park specifically is that we do so many different mm -hmm. types of events um, during a season. You know, we're, we're, we're hosting local leagues at the park, um, you know, soccer, softball, um, lacrosse, things like that. But we do, uh, we'll do football, um, we'll, we'll do cross country, we'll do half marathon. Um, so we just, we're exposed to so many different things mm -hmm. and so many different organizations that um, we kind of joke about it, but it's true, you know, every week is different for us. So if you think, hey, that was really, that's not really my thing. Well, guess what? Next week we're going to do something kind of different. Right. So that's something that's really unique about the sports park specifically. Um, and also, you know, if you like to be outdoors and you like athletics, you like to be around it, and, um, that's kind of the environment you thrive in. That's, that's our business. So um, that's one of the biggest perks about it, I think. Well, I think you meet people from all across the country. I mean, yes. you've had some really cool events there, all the way from, like you said, Little League to mm -hmm. adults that, that are playing incredible sports. So for folks that maybe have never seen lacrosse or yep. football or whatever, I mean, it's right there, you know, in their backyard. 
yeah, you can get some exposure to some some different experiences. And um, we, you know, I think as of 2018, we've had visitors from 42 of the 50 states. Wow. So um, you can meet all kinds of different people. Um, you can probably see some things that you haven't seen before if you're lacrosse isn't uh, you know very big in Kentucky but you'll see some big time lacrosse and things like that so um, we're, we're unique and we we expose ourselves and and uh, dabble in a little bit of everything so I love that what would you like to add to that Seth because there is more yeah definitely <laughs> so you know and that's just one aspect with the sports park uh, when you start looking at all the parks and recreation facilities across the city you have um, facilities like Freeman Lake Park um, there's so many opportunities there you have American Legion Park in the water park um, that's a big thing that's coming up is uh, we will start to uh, accept applications for our lifeguards um, okay. and some of our uh, front desk cashiers and management and stuff there because the first part of April is when we start training our guards mm -hmm. um, and start certifying them so they're ready to go by that Memorial Day weekend but you know, the pool will open Memorial Day weekend and it'll be solid through Labor Day. Um, and uh, it's been a huge asset for the city. We've had so many visitors. I think last year at the pool, we had about 33,000 people come I through the gate. So, you know, there's those opportunities. Um, there's opportunities um, even in the other, like ballpark maintenance and different mm -hmm. things that we do. And um, we, we work with all the local youth sports leagues. Um, mm -hmm. Those start up in March with practices and then seasons start in April. Um, and they would go through about uh, the middle of June to the end of June. We have a little bit of break and then we come back in the fall and do fall sports. So mm -hmm. there's something going on all the time <laughs> in the parks and recreation. And like Jason said, there's something different for everybody. It's not one of those jobs where, you know, it's like a factory or something else where you just do the same thing mm -hmm. day in and day out. There's literally something different. And for people that like to be outdoors and to enjoy nature um, or people that just like to uh, work with other people mm -hmm. in the community, um, there's great things involved with that. We, we're involved with a lot of the city events that mm -hmm. take place. Um, there's a lot out at Freeman Lake Park or downtown. Um, so there are so many opportunities. I really see those positions. You're kind of like ambassadors for the city, in all honesty, because you are. You're at all the events. You're coordinating big, you know, special events, folks that come in out of, out of town, out of state. Um, and so you're the faces that people see and interact with. So for me, I think it's so important that the folks are in these roles um, that are friendly and welcoming because that's the impression they get of our community. So Absolutely. Um, it's and, important what you do. And, and that's one thing that we uh, strive, Jason and I both, with our staff and all of the uh, people on board is, you know, we are customer service oriented because um, out at the sports park, that might be the first face that somebody visiting mm -hmm. sees of the city. So that impression is extremely important and the same out in our parks and recreation uh, facilities as well. So uh, customer service is a huge importance uh, and we place a big importance on that. I'm glad to hear that. So when folks come to your job fair, what do they need to bring? Uh, if they have a resume, they're welcome to bring that. Um, if some people have a certification that they think might be relevant, um, you know, they can work a certain piece of equipment or, um, you know, they've worked in food service and have safety certifications and things like that, feel free to bring that. That's not required. They don't have to have those things. Um, if you do have a resume, again, we would love to see it, but really just bring yourself <clears throat> and we just want to have a conversation with you and kind of see what you're interested in. Maybe you've had, this is your first job you're looking at, or maybe you retired, you've had 10 other jobs, and you know, we'd love to just find out more about you and see how maybe you could fit with our team and uh, in the positions that we have. And um, so really just bring yourself. Well, that's easy enough. Yep. I like that. Yep. Um, and how long will folk, can folks expect to be employed? Is it just through the summer? Will it be through the fall? What type of length of time are we looking at? We, we stagger a lot of our positions. The sports park season, for instance, starts um, with tournaments and different things around mm -hmm. the first of March and it runs until the end of November. So that is kind of our season, but there are other things that take place before and after that. So we've always tried to stagger those positions and the same with parks and recreation as well. Mm -hmm. Now we are bound by federal laws and different things. So people can expect um, eight to nine months of employment mm -hmm. before there is a mandatory layoff for a seasonal position. Uh, but depending on when that start date is, um, we usually try to go to that eight or nine months because again, we hire so many people and so many people have different schedules mm -hmm. and different things, especially you know, uh, kids that are in high school and they've got sports and things going on. We try to work with those schedules. So um, 
expect about eight to nine months of employment. Well, that's great. And, and can any of those positions maybe transition into full-time? Potentially, yes. And, and honestly, uh, we've had several positions within both the sports park and parks and recreation where uh, we've had really good seasonal uh, people and maybe they've been on for a season or even multiple seasons mm -hmm. and a position has opened up and those are usually the first people we look at oh, because sure. that's who we know. Right, yeah, and they've got a great background and mm -hmm. they know the gig, so. That's our proving ground. <laughs> that's, that's right. right. <laughs> you can do that, you can do anything, right? That's right. Is that yeah. how it goes? Um, and I guess you would say a lot of people might think, oh, it's just, you know, this is um, a young male dominated field type of thing, but really it's open to anyone. Is that right? Correct. Yes. Yeah. We, uh, we have people from all walks of life at the, as specifically at the sports park. Um, and there's positions that everybody can do. So good. We yep. don't want people to be hindered by that thinking, Not at all. you know, yep. that's just for boys or that's just for girls oh, or, yep. you know, only young people, you know, can do that sort of thing. So, um, so you talked a little bit about, there's a lot that's going to be taking place. Any big events already on the calendar for 2019? Well, from the sports park side, um, we have several big events, and those will start off with um, uh, things as far as a college softball tournament, and oh. then they'll just ramp into the season. But we have our week-long baseball events. Those are always huge. They attract uh, multiple states during those weeks. Um, I think, as Jason said, we've had 42 of the 50 states represented, and a lot of times it comes through our national baseball events. Um, but as he said also, we have every sport you can imagine as far as outdoor sports out there. So there, those are big events that are taking place on that side of things. Um, you know, on the parks and recreation side, we have opportunities for people. They can um, rent space and mm -hmm. we have a lot of people that do that and hold uh, large events out there as well. They can be from 5K runs to mm -hmm. family reunions to different things. And then of course, always the downtown events that take place, you know, bikes, blues, and barbecue, oh, and yeah. the car shows mm -hmm. and, uh, um, you know, different things of that nature. We'll have movie nights um, out at the park during the summer. Yeah, so are so fun. They are, and it's just a great, great setting. So there are so many things going on, and if somebody is looking for information, they can always call and, and, and check and see because we'll have a calendar and a list, and we'll, we'll tell them what's going on. <laughs> That's good because yeah. folks always need to know what's going on. And what about those folks that want to um, book events and start planning? They probably need to do it now, right? Your calendar fills up pretty quickly. It does, and, and for instance, the sports park calendar is usually set about a year in advance. Mm -hmm. So. Um, those opportunities, um, there's, while there are some spaces available, most of those are booked up. Um, and the community center f as well, we, mm -hmm. we'd look about a year ahead. I believe it. And uh, you know, what's amazing, just thinking about the community center, um, last year we had about a thousand rentals. Um, oh and when you think about the space there and the changeover and everything, um, most of those events were already booked well in advance. Sure. Um, and things like pavilion space and, mm -hmm. and parties out at the pool and different things of that nature. Um, speaking of the pool, we will start taking reservations March 1st Perfect. for our party room mm -hmm. and private parties um, after hours. So people, if they would like to call Pritchard after the 1st, mm -hmm. we'll start booking those as well. Okay, March the 1st. March the 1st. Because they probably, you've already probably already fielded calls for that. We have fielded <laughs> several calls and um, last year the party room during the uh, um, normal hours of the pool, um, it, it booked up really quick. Oh, I bet. And then I bet you we had about 30 private parties um, after hours. So it does book up and it fills up, yeah. especially the prime dates. Oh, well, sure. Well, it's just such a great place to have your kid's birthday party. Who doesn't want to have a water park, you know, birthday party? Exactly. So, and the location's great and everybody can play and be entertained. So I can imagine those dates go quickly. So, yes. and I've been one of those fools that have stood out in the cold before <laughs> years ago, <laughs> waiting to get in on the day that you can book your pavilion right. out at Freeman Lake Park for your family reunion because everybody has a family reunion. So Yes, um, and, and we've changed a little bit of that format over the years because like you said, you did used to have to wait oh, out yeah, in the cold. And <laughs> it depended on where your spot was in oh. line as to what day It was like waiting for concert tickets. So. I know, yeah. so we've changed that procedure a little bit and we allow people now that if they've rented a, a date, 
um, that particular year. They have a few business days after that if they would like to re-reserve that date the following oh. year. And that's because of the family reunions mm -hmm. and the reoccurring events that take place. So you don't have to stand out in the cold anymore. <coughs> um, yeah. It's a little bit easier. That's nice. And talk about the lake because um, we see constructions going on out there. Yes. So lots of changes happening and the lake is looking great. You've just finished Christmas in the park, another successful year. So talk about um, what's going on out there with all the construction. Definitely. We, we have have several construction projects going on. One is the lake office building. Mm -hmm. uh, we expect that to be completed a little bit later this year, hopefully sometime in the summer. Um, so it's going to be a beautiful building, a nice setting on the water. Mm -hmm. And um, so long so, overdue, yes. so deserved. You yes. all worked in that barn for ever. Yep. <laughs> so it is, it's so nice. I'm looking forward to seeing that. It, it's going to be great. And then uh, one of the things that should finish up fairly <coughs> soon within the next month or so um, is the new golf shop up at oh, American Legion. Yay. So that's uh, another well-needed uh, project. Yes. Um, that will uh, be a great place. It's got some pavilion space up there as well as the office where you check in for greens and, uh, and different things of that nature. And uh, we're always looking at, you know, improving and, and adding to our parks and uh, whether it's from, you know, our playgrounds to our pavilions yeah. to all of our other amenities, we're uh, always looking to, to try to do better than the year before. Right. Well, you guys do a marvelous job, and I think the little par three is one of the best kept secrets in E-Town. A lot of folks don't know that, and it's a great place to go if you're a beginning golfer, yes. learning how to golf, teaching someone to golf, um, and again, just awesome. And your staff, your staff is small, as you mentioned, but they manage to keep all these you know, plates in the air and, and all of our amenities going so well in the community, so. Yeah, huge shout out to them. We we could not do what we do without um, the good people that we have, and uh, um, they they make all the difference in the world. We're, we are a full, or a small full-time staff, mm -hmm. um, and our, our backbone is literally these seasonal positions. If we did not have them, we would not be able to do what we do, so we just encourage people, if they're looking for something different, they're looking for an opportunity to get outdoors and uh, you know interact with other people within the community. This very well may, might be the position for That's them. Right. That's awesome. Can folks also apply online or do they have to always apply in person? They can apply online if you go to the city of Elizabethtown's website, mm -hmm. which right now is actually being revamped. Oh. Um, and that will be, um, as of next week, I believe, mm -hmm. uh, the new website will be released. Oh, good. But on the human resources side, there should be a link for an application that they can go to. And the best way, if you want to download that offline or if you want to come into human resources at City Hall or Pritchard Community Center or the sports park, they can grab an application and fill that out. And um, one thing I do want to encourage people, if they are not able to make the job fair out at the sports park, please still apply if you're interested and come on out and see us and drop that off because that that is not a requirement to be at that job fair um, in order for employment. Okay, so, and because you'll be hiring, I guess, for the next couple months or a few weeks or so. You won't obviously get everybody in place on January 21st. Right, yeah, we'll, we'll continue to hire throughout um, leading up to our season. We just like to use that day as an opportunity to kind of meet people face to face and in bulk and and uh, you know, talk with different people, but there, people are more than welcome to apply if, if they're working or something. Another obligation to, to come out any time after that or even prior to that and get an application mm -hmm. from us. So, have you done that in the past, and has it been successful having the job fair day? Yes, um, it has been, and, and even though uh, the 21st is a, is a holiday, it seems to to work out better than we ever mm -hmm. expect on on that Monday. Um, so, it's it, that's a good date for us annually, and and uh, we always try to keep it that same date. Sure, and remind us of the times again that folks can do. Uh, we are going to uh, have sessions from 9 a.m. to noon, and then we'll take a little break and we'll have another session in the afternoon from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. on that Monday, the 21st. Good deal, and folks don't need an appointment, it's just a job fair, so they can just literally show up at the yep. Sports Park, come, which is also great because if they haven't seen it, then they get to see what it's yes. all about and yes. how gorgeous it is, and I don't know what all you all do to keep it maintained and make it look so awesome year-round. I think it's the only place in town has green grass right now. So. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Whatever you're doing, I want that at my yard. That would be fantastic. Um, and so, of course, a lot of folks are, you know, looking for employment. They're thinking, um, is the pay competitive? Will there be benefits? That type of thing. Can you talk a little bit about that? Um, on the pay side, um, it, it definitely depends on the positions that people apply for. Um, that can start out for minimum wage and go up from there. Um, and as far as benefits and all of that, um, through seasonal employment, 
um, there's not really the benefits offered on the city side. Um, those come into the full-time positions. Um, however, the benefit I would say is just the work environment in general. Who else is going to be able to offer what you know, parks and recreation can offer in those types of experiences. So um, I think that's why a lot of people return year after year. It's, um, it's because of the type of job, the environment, um, being able to do something different day in and day out. And uh, it really is rewarding. Heck yeah, you get to play outside. Yeah. Just saying, you know, sunshine and gardens and fun and all that good stuff. And again, like you said, watch sports teams. I mean, that to me would not be work because you get to right. That's right. You get to watch all the sports team stuff. It's not like when you're working at a stadium security. I feel bad those guys are, their backs are always <laughs> to the action, so you don't know what's going on. You don't on. see a minute. You don't yeah. see a, a single touchdown, That's so right. you guys get to catch all the action. So, And you all have been with the city now for, for a little bit of time, so tell us about the, the rewards for you and what you enjoy about being a part of, um, the, part, being the head of the Parks and Recreation. Well, definitely, uh, I, for me, it's all of the things that I just said. You know, I, I love the diversity, um, and you never know. I, I was joking around one day because one day we were working on some maintenance of equipment, and then the very next day I was doing research on historical structures out at Freeman Lake wow. and how do you maintain those, and mm -hmm. <clears throat> we needed to do some <clears throat> renovations and different things. So um, it's really the diversity. <laughs> I love the people that I work with. I think we have the best team I in agree. the world. and. Uh, and it really shows, and I'm really proud of everybody that um, is put forth 100% effort in the park. It, it, it really shows on all aspects from the sports park to, the, to Freeman Lake, to American Legion Park, to all the ball, ballparks and things in the city. Um, people are really, really fortunate. The community is fortunate to have the facilities that we do, and I, I'm so happy to just be part of that. Well said. And what about you, Jason? How long have you been the manager out of the sports park? I've been the manager since uh, the fall of 2017, but I've been at the park since the mm -hmm. spring of 16. So I've uh, been with the city for a few years, at the park for a few years. Um, you know, the, the thing, I have to remind myself, and I thought about this uh, just a few minutes ago, but we, we have to all remind ourselves at the sports park sometimes that we get paid to work at a sports park. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, we get paid to maintain athletic fields and things like that. and. Um, you know, it can be hard work and serious work, but at the same time, you know, you have to take a step back, and I think that's the most enjoying thing and, and joyful thing about it is that um, we're working at, at an athletic facility and we get to do so many different events, um, you know, and one of the most um, fulfilling things for me is that, um, you know, you, you kind of get to stretch your legs, and, and what I mentioned earlier is one week we'll do a football tournament, the next mm -hmm. week we'll do a soccer tournament. Um, so you get to kind of um, challenge yourself in so many different ways and work with so many different groups of people um, and do so many different things that it just keeps things fresh and and and, uh, and that's one of the things that I enjoy the most about my position. That's awesome. And yep. when do you guys officially open? Will there be a big official opening event or an opening day? Um, our first uh, event will be March the 8th through the 10th which is the college softball tournament that oh, Seth yeah. mentioned. Um, so March, uh, technically March the 1st is our, is our uh, open, opening of season, um, but our first event will not be till March the 8th, so, and we'll get, uh, we'll get going from there. We'll start some, some local league soccer in March as well, as well as tournaments on the weekends, so, and it only, uh, it only ramps up from there. Spring and summer is our, by far our busiest part of the year, so it's the warmest, and then that's usually when people are out of school and when, we, we, uh, we work when they play, so. That's right. Yep. Wow, March is just around the corner. Yeah, it is. And then when the park is open, like you said, because of the, the tournaments and all you have going on, you guys are open, like, all day. Yes. <laughs> and half the night. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Um, right now, um, during the off season, we're open, you know, 8 to 5, Monday through Thursday. Um, and on Fridays, 8 to 4.30, but we do uh, leave uh, access to our walking trails in the evenings because mm -hmm. we have quite a few uh, people that utilize our walking trail around the park. Um, we've got about three miles of a of walking trail there. Um, and then in, when we get into the season, like you mentioned, we'll have evening hours and we'll start closing um, more so at dusk um, on the nights and, and weekends. So um, we'll have some kind of extended hours being open to the public for people who like to come out and use our trails and, mm -hmm. and walk and bike and those sorts of things. So. 
And again, I think people forget about that. That's yes. another great amenity at the park. So, um, you know, you may not, there may not even be an event, or you may be taking a break or in between your kids' games, whatever. There's that awesome walking trail, which yes. um, I see people out there all the time. Yes. So, I mean, it's a little bit challenging course. It's not flat. Yes. So, if you like to walk or jog, that is a perfect um, trail. It's, again, beautiful scenery. Yes, people compliment all the time that it's their favorite place to come and walk or jog or bike. And uh, we have regulars and we have, we have dedicated regulars, people out there <laughs> in the freezing cold no matter what so <laughs> uh, you know I don't know if I can do it but no I don't I'm yeah. more of a mall walker when it's yes. winter time so <laughs> yeah I will tell you that straight up I am not that dedicated but I admire those who do yes. they are they are really awesome um, and as you mentioned so folks can get more information on the city website once it is it'll be new and improved right. which will be awesome so they can keep up to date kind of on all the activities going on not at just the sports park but the, the entire city. Exactly, and that website's etownkentucky.org. Um, and people can also call Pritchard Community Center. Um, that number is 270-765-5551. Um, we'll be happy to assist, and uh, we can also transfer them out if they're looking for the lake or somebody like that. We can transfer directly from there. So they can call Pritchard, and then they can call the sports park as well if they've got questions, and that's 270 Seven six five six one three two. Gosh, you're good. I didn't have to ask you for that. <laughs> you guys have done this a time or two, which I love that. That's awesome. Um, and again, one more time, give us the date and time for the job fair. Yes, it's Monday, January 21st, uh, and we'll have a morning session from 9 a.m. to noon, and then an afternoon session from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. Cool, and we hope hundreds and hundreds of people yes. show up. Please yes. come out and see us. We'd, right. we'd prefer to be overwhelmed by Wouldn't the amount nice? of attendance. <laughs> yes, and they don't have to live in the city of E-Town, right? You can live Correct. in Correct. anywhere in Hardin County or LaRue County or, or yes. whatever. So that's, yeah. that's really nice, too. So come on out and be a part of all the great things going on at the Parks and Recreation Department. I may have to apply. I think that'd be really fun. I can, be great. I can serve up some Pepsis this yeah. summer, you know. I can, <laughs> I can greet people. It'll be awesome. I need to be one of those greeters at the park. Do you have greeters? Hey, we have everybody. Okay, I'm in. <laughs> Sign me up. Sign me up. That'll be so much fun. So, like I said, these are all great opportunities. I hope folks will take advantage of it. We know there's a lot of folks in the job market, and this is a great time to become a part of the city of E-Town and, and join your team. So, like we mentioned, ambassadors for the city. Lots of great um, benefits and, um, you know, what better job? You get all your vitamin D and you get to meet new people and work with folks of all different backgrounds um, and all the hot dogs you can eat, there right? You okay, there you go. There you go. <laughs> well, we appreciate you and your staff and what you all do because we know you have a ton of acreage in this community to cover, um, like you said, with a small staff. So, but um, you make it awesome and we are blessed to live here and blessed to have a great, um, active, thriving um, city, parks, and rec department. So thank you for what you thank do. You. And thank you all thank for you. providing that quality of life for us and for being here today and sharing thank with you. us, kicking yes. our new year off right. So we appreciate you watching and hope you enjoyed today's uh, edition. Again, you can contact the city for more information. Show up at the job fair on the 21st and help kick off spring and get ready for a great season here in E-Town. So on behalf of HCEC-TV, I'm Kendra Scott. Hope you have a great day. Stay warm and we'll see you next time.